Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Louise is back. And so am I. We're gonna go ahead and do 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Uh six box half case PYT number Ocho. Or number eight, as some of you all would know. Yeah, I gotta teach you a little something something here. Alrighty. So I got the list up. I got the Mac correctly. Mm. The names aren't up there as good as I would like it to be. So let me put that up better. Don laying the mod hammer down. What did PC do? I thought PC was pretty chill. But yeah, the, the Don has spoken. The Don has spoken. All right, let's see what we got here. So this product is fucking weird, bro. There's literal, like, dinosaur stuff in this. Like, there's there's relics of, like, woolly mammoth teeth. There's, like... Good it, or bad? It, no, it's cool. It's cool because it's the only product that has that. And then they also mix it with, like, some, like, rookies in football. Like, Joe Burrow has autographs in this. He's in a suit and tie and shit. What is the, how many just come in the case? There's 12 boxes in a case. Uh, yeah, I, I split them in half to, you know, make them affordable and stuff. <coughs> so we're going to do a half case now? That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it. I have allergies. Okay. Like a motherfucker. That is correct. That's the wrong list. Thank you so should I, uh... for telling me. No, you're good. It's just, I don't know what it is, man, but like. As when long I... as you don't have COVID. Cool. If I have COVID, I've had it for months now. Okay, okay, okay. And herd immunity, herd immunity. I can put my mask on. Dude, if you want to, because <laughs> I'm going to put one on. Like, I'm dead ass. <coughs> I don't know what it is, but whenever I open these shits. You think it's, it's not me, maybe, like the cologne? No, nah, it's not you at all. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's every day. Like, they'll tell you. Like, bro, like, look, look, at, look at all the dust on this. Get, a, get an air purifier. Yeah, you're, you're like right. 40 bucks, you put them in here, the honey worms. Does honey that worms? help with dust? Yeah, dude. Because that's what kills bacteria, me. bacteria, dust. That's what kills me is, is all the dust. And, um, I'm, a, I'm allergic to dust and mold. Hey, so. you one of those bad boys in here? Yeah, I'm going to have to make that they investment, dog. They got to see a pretty face. They got to see a, you know, they want to see the face. <coughs> you see, like, I'm already fucking coughing. It's like this shit right here, man. Like, you think it's this? I, I know, know it is. I know what it is. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, dude, I, I honestly, I don't know. It's like maybe there's like little dust particles in these shits or something. I don't know. So that's a box loader, which is like uh, something that they have in this product. Not all the products have it. It's basically like just a big version. Thank you, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. I know, I know someone. It's just like a bigger version of a card. Sometimes they're autographed, sometimes they're not. More often than not, they're not. All right, let's see what we got here, peeps. We have Pete Alonso with a mini. I'm sorry, that's far from being a mini. That's the box loader right there for the Mets. Well, Louise, uh, like I was saying earlier, we have a potential uh, addition to the Rip City family. And you're just, just learning the ways, learning the ways. You know, the, the Luke Skywalker to my Yoda. If you uh, catch the Star Wars reference. You guys see the technique here? Well, yeah, with, with top specifically. Right at the top. Like right here, and then like I just rip down the middle, boom. Just muscle through it. As opposed to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... It just, it just saves time. Yeah, sure. Can't do that with Panini, though. Oh, see, that's the thing. The Panini packs are... Okay. Com they're, they're, they just seal them differently. That's what I... Yeah. Princess Louise, you've never seen Star Wars? What? Nothing? You know... There's like seven of them. There's like eight of them. You know, I mean... You'll never understand the Force. Never understand the Force. So you mean to tell me... 
We'll take, we'll take that. At least you, okay, so you know who the people are, Louise? Okay, that's cool. Never watched Star Wars, but... I've never seen, like, uh, The Godfather. And I, I get crap about that. I've watched it, but I couldn't, I couldn't... You couldn't stay awake, huh? <laughs> I couldn't, I can only see parts and pieces. <laughs> exactly. I'm the same way. It's like, it's just too long. Yeah, it's just like... It's like My attention span is <laughs> not that good. Yeah. Spaceballs was on Netflix, by the way. That shit is amazing. I love that movie. Yeah, they, they call the Force the Schwartz. And instead of like uh, lightsabers, they have like rings. May the shorts be with you, Mike. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, here we go. I love when I have to flip cards. All right, so they got like these little what? mini cards That's in there crazy. stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. I sleeve that up. You just sleeve, just put it in a sleeve. <laughs> so they have cards like this too. Like in this set, the Empire State Building will have like different buildings from around the world. Cool. Like it's it's just a weird ass product. The A and G back right there from Miguel Sano. What, uh, what are we looking for in here? So in this, we're looking for rip cards. And we're looking for guys like this, Lewis Robert, rookie. Oh, nice. There's not many rookies in this set. It's mostly about the, uh, you know, stuff like this, minis, Honus Wagner, Black Border. There's a lot of short prints in this stuff, a lot of variations and, like, like I was telling you, the uh, the dinosaur relics. There's presidential autographs in this. Like Obama has autographs. There's comedians in this stuff that have like autographs. Uh, a few years ago, they had like this. Uh, they had this thing where they uh, it was like a raffle or something, and a breaker won, and they made his card like his. They made him into a card basically. Okay. So yeah, it's like all type of like who the fuck is this? Like who who, who is this? <laughs> it's a it's a karate athlete apparently. Yeah, you know, and they have stuff like this, <laughs> a sapphire gem card, but then they'll have relics yeah. with an actual piece of sapphire on it, oh, well. which is really cool. Yeah. So there's definitely cool stuff in this. There's skateboarders, tattoo artists. You know, this is the uh, Citadel and Safe Hold Mini right there. You got the Shanghai Tower. You know, on the back it has like a fun little facts for you. You know, see, like, who's this guy? He's a tattoo artist, apparently. The Glavin AMG back. Yeah, this is by far the weirdest product that I break. But it's, I, I like it too. It's just, it's so weird. Ludacris has autographs in this too. That's right. Luda. I mean, who the fuck is this guy? He's a baseball writer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's Pretty soon you'll see your boy on one of these cards. Oh, we got some signatures in here. Oh, for sure. We got some signatures, patches. some hotness in here. You're like, here's a relic right here. Almora Jr. of the Cubs. Yeah, Kenny Powers has autographs in this. That's right. Kenny Powers. Oh, you ever see uh, yeah, East Bound and Down? Yeah, of course. Well, the actor, Danny McBride, yeah, has autographs in this stuff. I love that show. <laughs> that dude's fucking stupid as fuck. He has another show, uh, Vice Principals. You ever see that one? No, I haven't seen it. That's just funny as hell, too. That guy's just playing everything, though, yeah? Hell, yeah. Like, and no matter, it just doesn't matter what Pineapple he Express, oh, all that. Joey Votto, Red's Relic. So you notice how I put my mask on and stopped coughing? Is that just because the, the dust is It's because all the dust, bro. Like, especially, I don't know, like, when I open these packs, like, I don't know if they have, like, dust or something in them. All these, especially. Like, right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, a, it's like not like a... There's like, like a dust shit. or something yeah. out of it. Like, I don't know. But it just drives my allergies crazy. 
Trevor Story yeah, AMG back. Yeah, all that stuff picks up dust. The carpet. Just a lot of, a lot of factors. Frankie Jenkins AMG back. Yeah, I want to see one of those uh, quartz relics or something. One of those gemstones relics would be cool. Like a ruby relic or something. Carlton Fisk mini. The Burj Khalifa. I think that's like the tallest building in the world. It's black? Yeah, it's entered 2020 as the tallest building in the world. There you go. That's there crazy. Go. Who gets that? The, well, I, I saw a non-baseball spot, so it's basically... Oh, okay. All of the non-baseball stuff combined into one. Tommy Edmund with the black border. Booming Cities insert. Well, I should say mini. Yeah, a BMX legend right here, Ryan Nyquist. Oh, what? Nice. Yeah, a little mini. He has oh, autographs in this stuff. I actually got that uh, Tony Hawk game. Remember the old one? Bucky Lassick has autographs in this stuff. Crazy. Yeah, I used to play with him all the time back in the day. Crazy. Yeah, I hear the new Tony Hawk game is good. Yeah, I got it. I love it. It was, um, they, they have the, um, they have the original one remastered and now they have, uh, That's the one I got to pick up. I used to play that show the 64 bucks. all yeah, day. Yeah. They have that one in the game and plus the new one that they made. Nice. So cool, Kyle Lewis, rookie. What about the Dolphins? Oh, who's winning? Jags or Dolphins? The Dolphins are up 28-13 to 13 with about less than nine minutes to go in the fourth. Is that yeah. a joke or is that real? No, that's real. Dolphins are winning. Dolphins. Yeah, I would never joke about that. Mr. Hayward with a relic for the Cubs. There's that Durham Smythe. They got, looks like he's hurt or something. I don't know who that is. A Luzardo Mini. Yeah, look at this. A down on the farm, an irrigator card. Like, what the hell? This is, like, so random. Bellinger, A&G back. A silver card. What's what, Where's silver at right now, JMS? What's, what's the Dow Jones looking like on the silver? There definitely should be more autos in this. Yeah, mostly, dude, yeah, it's mostly relics in the stuff. I mean, there are three hits What's the average of three hits? per box. So in this, there's autographs, relics, the rip cards. A rip card is basically where you open the card and they'll have, like, another mini card inside of it, which it could be, like, a unique card or something, or it could be a dud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's printing plates, and there's also booklets in this, and there's also box loader rip cards. There's the triple rib cards, the double rib cards. There's just a bunch of funkiness in this. Autographs are pretty tough to come by. Yeah, rib cards are normally two per case. Uh, we hit one of the rib cards in the first half, number seven. So there should be another one in here, but as we all know, there's no guarantee. They have like uh, like stamps in this coins. Yeah. It's just a re it's a really weird product. The checklist must be huge. Oh, dude, yeah, the checklist is crazy on this. Like they have a checklist only for the non-baseball stuff. Like that's how nuts it is. <laughs> like that's probably the biggest spot to have, I think. I mean, but I'm sure you can come up with something cool. Oh, uh, bro, I've seen. Like I've, there's been years where I pulled a a relic for a woolly mammoth. It looks like a tooth. Oh, so you were like, a like a yeah, like a fossil, <laughs> like a legit fossil. I thought you were fucking nah, bro, dead ass. That's crazy. It's fucking nuts. Like there's really crazy shit in here. How long is this? Like thing here's the out, checklist for uh for the for the non bit Paul Rudd, Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Hey. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if you're familiar with uh Desus and Mero. Those guys, they have like a podcast. They're kind of like a big deal with podcasts and shit. They got autographs in this. They got presidents, like BMX, like 
like Arl Stein, the guy that made the Goosebumps books, has autographs in this. Frank Sinatra has autographs in this, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Michael Jackson. Then we're talking. It depending on the product he does, like uh, oh really? Yeah, like uh, there is a product where he has autographs. It's like, but it's like, it's like ten thousand dollars a box type shit. There, there's fossilized crocodiles, mammoths, dinosaurs, turtles, whales, copper cards, sapphire, turquoise. Like it's crazy. It's wild. Just for the non-baseball stuff. Now, obviously, the odds of hitting it are. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. What do you sell this lot at? Uh, I sell it at 150 a spot. Nice. And it sells. It's like the first spot to sell. You guys want that uh, piece of a dinosaur? Hell yeah, dude! Barack Obama autos, Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy. Oof, F. Kennedy. That's no, yeah. that's, you know what I mean? Like it's it's cool as hell. John F. Kennedy. Yeah, bro. Shit is crazy, man. I'm sure that's going for quite a bit. It might be like the most sought after card too, because it's uh it would it would more than likely be uh, what is it one of well it's a it's a pin it's not an autograph oh, okay okay it's a pin so it's like a pin from back in the day oh, okay okay uh, like when he was doing his presidential no, uh, his stuff autograph, gotta... yeah if it's an autograph it, it'll it usually be like a cut sold. autograph yeah, yeah, I guess so. so it'll be like Babe Ruth for example it'll be like uh like a paste up of his oh, okay, okay. and he he signed it or like I've seen like napkins and stuff. Where he signs the napkin, and they just so happen to, you know, keep it and all, all like, like it, it's it's nuts. And right now, I'm trying to petition to get my own Ginter card. If I don't have a Ginter card in the next five years, there's a problem. Ginter, Ginter, Allen and Ginter. Oh, shit. Ginter. Oh, but you see the tops. tops. Yeah, tops. Oh, Nick, I, I would definitely do it, Nick. What is Nick asking for? He's like, oh, if, if I ever get, like, a card made, oh. <laughs> I would have to get lots of cases and put a bounty on the 101. And, then, like, whoever hits the 101 gets to go on a date with Uncle Jesse. I'll take you to McDonald's. You know, I'll let you buy whatever you want off the dollar menu. Five dollar limit. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, ten dollars. Ten dollar limit. Ten dollar limit. Then you guys get the dessert. And, and I'm the dessert, baby. <laughs> now I'll take it to the garage, and I'll. Uh, if you're into uh, herbal medicine, then uh, you know I'll I'll, uh, I'll hook you up with some of that. The new fragrance, honey. <laughs> That's right. Nick, it, I did you if? Oh my God! Don't don't even get me started. Yeah, yo, if if that actually happens, you guys could mail me the card and I would sign it for you guys, no problem. And like, I would sign every card differently. Like, I would have like a Uncle Jesse autograph. I would have the Cardboard Moses autograph. I would have the Your Favorite Breaker's Favorite Breaker autograph. Like, I would sign every card differently. That way, every card is like a one-on-one. And on the one-on-one, I wouldn't sign it. I would just, like, put my fingerprint on there. You know what I mean? Like, I would, like, I would, like, I don't know. Like, I'd figure it out somehow. I'd just, like, color it in with, like, a Sharpie. And, like, boom, put my fingerprint on there. And then I would cough on it too, so it has my DNA, you know, a little COVID, COVID relic. You know, put put a little pube in there, maybe. Nah, maybe not that far. Maybe not that far. Would you pepper spray the car? I mean, listen, we I've done it before. I, I, dude, I'll, I'll send you some. I'll send you a pepper spray relic. All right, let's get down to business. Let's open up the box loader. The COVID particle relic. Dude, that thing, you know, that thing will be. You gotta, you gotta carry it around, carry it around in a hazmat suit or something. 
All right, I got Bo Bichet with the uh, box loader. I have yet to hit a box loader autograph. So I'm hoping we can do that today. You got four more tries. Yeah, right. It's got to it's got to come out. I got this Emmerich guy who's a sports broadcaster, ANG bag. Oh, the popular cow card. Everybody likes the I like the dog card the most. My boy Sheffield, Gary Sheffield with the cleanest Marlins uniform ever. I love those colors. I don't know why we changed them. I like them. That teal, baby, that teal. Teal, teal. Glavin. The Willis Tower. Which I know it as the Sears Tower. The Kluber uh, Black Border. Ken Jeong, the guy from the freaking Hangover movies, has autographs in this. Would be nice to hit one. Congrats to the Marlins. One more win for a playoff berth, baby. And the Dolphins might be getting their first win tonight. I don't know. Max Scherzer, ANG back. Oh, for sure we're getting on. I do that. Listen, I've seen this. Quarter in? It's fourth quarter. Oh, a little under five minutes to yeah, go. Yeah, I've seen the Dolphins blow a 28-point lead before in that Monday Night Miracle game against the Jets. I fucking cried that night. Monday Night Football, I'll, I'll never forget it. it. And it was at home against the Jets. Oh. Anyway, Urshela, Yankees relic. The Dolphins will find a way to lose this game. Like, trust me. Yeah, where monsters live in the old trunk. What the heck? Another under the stairs right there. So we got some, I see some Donders over there. Donders, Donders Fool's Ball. Maybe break some of that tonight. Mm, for sure. Definitely want to stick around for that. Are these guys going to sell out? See some Fool's Ball. What do we got? See the teams left there. After I'm done with this, I'll put a filler together. See what we can get cracking. I know, Nick, but you know, um. When you're a, when you're a true Dolphins fan, you're just so used to mediocrity that like you're kind of just numb to it. That's right. Hit that like button. Got the nine ways to first. That is technically non baseball. Well, we got something here. I don't know what it is, but. It is a Benintendi mini-framed relic for the Red Sox. Got a little piece of his bat right there. Always check the back of those minis. Because some of them are hand-numbered. You broken these before in the past? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Except for that. When did this, when was this, uh, when did this start? When did that set start? I have no idea. But it's come out every year since I've been breaking. Oh, okay, so for a while. Yeah, so it's probably been coming out for a while. Does anyone know how long Alan and Ginter has been coming out as a set? A Babe Ruth ANG back mini. Nice. Very nice. Imagine if I hit the diamond relic. Nah, it doesn't exist. I'm just joking. But, dude, there are cards, like Flawless. It's, it's called Flawless, where they'll have literal diamonds embedded in the card. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, as beautiful as the pig card? I don't know. See, that you see, 18, eight, for 2,000 years, Ginter's been around for 2,000 years. 1887 was their first card. See, this is like, I don't know. Are y'all shitting me right no, now? I'm not shitting right now. No, I, <coughs> I got the bacon relic at the crib, dog. My boy Bucky Lassick. Has it really been around since 1887? Wow. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. 
<coughs> I did. I hit that Georgia stamp card. That was pretty cool. That one of one mojo. What do we have here? There's our first auto. Juan Soto. The most underwhelming player in all of baseball. No, I'm kidding. He's pretty good. <coughs> so good that it makes my allergies go crazy. <coughs> yeah. Juan Soto mini framed autograph. Nice one for the Nationals. <coughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Ah, the Hippo Safari card. You know, don't fuck with hippos. Hippos are no joke. I've seen a hippo fight an alligator. Whooped its ass. Of course. Those things are huge. Or a crocodile, probably. Yeah, it was a crocodile or some shit. Yeah. Or, uh, or they came, both look the same. Or came well, I don't know. What's some National Geographic shit? <laughs> and that hippo whooped its ass. Oh, it Bit the crap out of it, bro. Man. Video where it chases a boat. You seen that? Yeah. I think it's fast, dude. I've seen like fucking uh, giraffes and elephants chase after like safari cars. And them, fu them fuckers are fast too. <coughs> Alright. It's about that time. Uncle Jesse, water break. Water break. Oh, you want to? Oh, you got water there? Yeah, I got water over here. Oh, And that concludes the Uncle Jesse uh, water break tizzle. What up, Nick? Yeah, I'm on tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern. Alrighty. Hippos kill more people than any other animal in Africa. I be dude, I believe it, man. I believe it. Jacob DeGrom, box loader for the Mets. What is that, Louise? Bruce Lee was in the 2007 Ginter set? Nice. List of deadliest animals to humans. Well, mosquitoes <laughs> uh, would be number one. Number two, other humans. Number three, snakes. Number four, dogs. Wow. Interesting. Hippos kill about 500 humans a year. Wow. Interesting. Why? 
Oh, dude, they're, they're, they're up, my my record is twenty two hours. What? I did a twenty two hour stream once. Oh my god, I broke everything I had. Really? Literally. That's the reason I stopped. I didn't have anything else to break. One dude literally bought everything in the store. Did he hit? Oh, he hit a bunch of shit. I think he probably broke even, though, with everything he bought. But, yeah, 22 hours straight. Ripping straight Bowman. Drank, like, three monsters that night. A hippo's as fast as a horse, supposedly? That's a tough one to be. Oh, but <laughs> may, may, maybe in the water. On land? But on, yeah, on I land? Guess, I don't know, uh, dog. I, guess, yeah. I feel like I can outrun a hippo. If I can't outrun a hippo, something's wrong with me. They say a hippo is faster than a horse. Let's find out. Hippo. What's, what's the MPH on that hippo? Maybe a, a baby horse. <laughs> maybe, yeah, a baby <laughs> horse. A little pony. A, you know, a little jackass. A little donkey. Dude, Grego, listen, man. I'm pretty fast, dog. Oh, you want to hear something crazy? In Africa, hippos of all large animals are the biggest killers of humans. Yeah, and yeah. More than lions. Hippos what? are no, relatives of the horse, so Dude, they can run as fast, fast as horses? As horses it can run as fast as horses. Yeah, she put it in the chat, too. What? Wait, are you reading her chat or something? No, no, I'm just reading... Oh, uh, she like cut later. Uh, Thank you for your help. Hippos run fifteen to twenty-five miles an hour. Fifteen to twenty-five miles. The fastest I've ever been clocked at was twenty-two miles an hour. Really? Back in high school. Really? Yeah, I used to run a four-five forty. What? Shut up. I swear to God, bro. Okay. <laughs> he used to I promise you, dog. Used to... Uncle Jesse used to be a stud, and then, yeah. and then life happened. That's right. And then life happened. Alright, so I might not be able to beat a hippo in a straight line race, but I can zigzag. A hippo can zigzag. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll snake that motherfucker. Second largest land animal. That's what I was The first one is the elephant, ain't it? Yeah. I can outrun an elephant. 30 miles an hour, that's tough to believe, bro. On the hippo, right? Oh my god, that blew my mind. And who they weigh like. Who was it that wrote that? Princess Louise. Wow, she's on. She's on her Google shit. A hippo weighs thirty three hundred pounds and can run thirty miles an hour. That's nuts. I don't know. I refuse to believe a hippo's faster than me. I, I don't know. My my pride refuses to believe that. But you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna race a hippo anytime soon. Hey, remember that? Remember that one time Chad Ocho Cinco raced a horse and beat it? What? I don't remember that. You know that guy's always at Urban playing soccer. He's where? Yeah, yeah, he's hella into soccer. No, yeah, there was, was like years ago. He actually raced, but he was still in the league, playing for the Bengals. And of course, he had like a decent head start. He had like a fifty foot head start or something. I mean, that's and but he but he beat the horse technically. <laughs> I mean, no, technically, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a fair race. I mean, but listen, you're running. The horse. You're gonna start all the <laughs> way back there, and I'm gonna start here. We're gonna say go. Hey, I'm gonna get here first. Oh, what? a Joe Burrow mini auto. Congrats. Nice non baseball spot. Congrats. There you go, Ray. That's why they kill 500 people a year. I could outrun that hippo. Yeah, that's that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Val the Bear. What's going on, Val? Nice little Joey Burrow. Uh, I don't Sweet. really like the top loader, though. I'll tell you that. I want him to slide up in there real nice like, yeah. oh, yeah. You see how he slides right there? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Non-baseball spot with an autograph. That is nice. Very, very nice. 
That's actually pretty sick. Uh, Mr. O o o Olsen with the mini. All right, two minutes left. I think the Dolphins might win this game, Freak. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we could still lose this game now. So an elephant can run 11.2 miles per hour? Yeah, I could burn an elephant for sure. But damn, nice to know. Like, if I'm ever in Africa and I see a hippo, I will uh, stay far away. Well, I learned something today. I learned something today. Don't fuck with hippos. <laughs> we got Mr. Stanton with the ANG back. Uh, Michael Chavis, Red Sox Relic. A red kangaroo can reach speeds of over 35 miles an hour. Nice. That's believable. Uh, the hippo is still tough to swallow. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's still tough to swallow, man. It's like, I guess they're tall. I guess they're big. Oh, dude, they're massive. But, like, how can an animal that big move that fast? Well, oh, legs so little. Yeah, Exactly. Or maybe that's the trick right there. Is them little baby little legs they got. Or maybe they look like baby and they're really fucking long. It's crazy. Hey, Val, did you know that uh, you can't outrun a hippo? I didn't know that. Now you do. Yamamoto can't outrun a hippo, but he's got a black border card right there. The real question is, can you outbox a kangaroo? I feel like if I get to you know train me for like three months, I'll knock I'll knock a kangaroo out. O only if it fucks with me though. <laughs> Louis Dever. Ah, the old horse card right there. Right now. Ah, shut up, Valby. Shut up. Don't say that. A red kangaroo is bigger than me? Why, why, why am I think I'm thinking of a different animal then. Cause, oh, I'm thinking of a red panda. What the hell is a red kangaroo? I only know of the one kind. Oh, that's a red kangaroo? It looks like a kangaroo. And red. Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> kangaroo. A red kangaroo. A kangaroo with a tan. Yeah, that's the that is a unit of an animal right there. It's an odd animal. Look at that chest. Right? Look at the bro. That thing is diesel. Damn, that's a diesel motherfucker. I like my chances in a fist fight. As long as it doesn't kick me, it'll probably kick the shit out of me. And then I'm out. But I'll stick and move. Oh! It's all right. From South exactly. South I'm from I'm from Miami, baby. South Dade. They don't know. Yeah, I used to I used to fight crackheads, dog. You know how strong they are. Pretty strong. Kangaroo strong, maybe. Angie back for uh, Michael Franco. No, all jokes aside, I would not fuck with a kangaroo. Uh, I would not. Gould, that, that dude. Signal? That is, uh, that's a, right? yeah, first time with a relic, though. He's a baseball rider, so that might be, like, a piece of his boxers or something. I don't know. There you go. Enjoy that. All right, we're halfway there. In your agriculture ca agri ag ag why can't I talk right now? Agriculture class. The queso from a Mexican, What? Is made from goat cheese. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure I wanted to learn that. But thank you.
<laughs> Val. Probably, probably. I've been I've been working on my golf game. I've been working on my like yeah I'm 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 getting there. I'm I'm working my way up to you know to to 18 holes. Give me a five iron. I'm slapping that thing out of there at least 200 yards. Yes, sir. Well, the Heat won. Well, the Heat. Oh, my God. The Dolphins won. And the Heat won. They did win yesterday. The next game? Tomorrow? Yep. And the Lakers? Tomorrow as well? Tomorrow. Uh, the Lakers are actually playing right now. No. Really? I think. Are they still, aren't they still playing LeBron right now? LeBron is rising the stock right now. Jerseys are going. Apparently, Tyler Hero has the number one selling jersey right now. Does he really? Like, probably just like today. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like today. Yeah, today. Oh, oh, shit. Wow, the oh, wow. It's a five-point game with like 30 moment. seconds left. Now it's a six-point game. You call bullshit on me hitting 200 yards with a five iron? All right. I only use the five iron. That's the only club that I'm good at. Dude, listen, man. It's I'm not watch Jimbo. Watch. I'm gonna record a video. Probably on Monday. I'll see if I go golfing on Monday. Are they closed? I thought I thought top golf was closed. Open, right? Probably on a Broward. I go. Oh, Broward's different. Once you get out of. Oh yeah. Once you get out of Dade County, everything's I, open. I was in Orlando on Saturday, and not one person had a mask. We're at the park. Not one. That's person. what I heard. I got a homegirl out there right now. In fact, I had a mask on. Everybody was looking at me crazy. So I took it off. <laughs> That's crazy. They were looking at me like if I had COVID. So you got to fucking love Florida, bro. Ass backwards. I love it. <laughs> That's Orlando, you know they're, oh. they're, they're spiking over there. Or they did whatever. Yeah, I used to live out there for a year when oh, I was really? in college, and it is uh not Miami. I'll say that much. Yeah, <laughs> it's developed a lot. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot nicer now. Yeah, and now with the NBA there, sure for there. sure. It's a bubble, the NBA bubble. Not so much of a bubble. Yeah, right. Got all these Instagram thoughts in there you now. See it? Yeah, right. Well, I'm not. I, well, first of all, I'm not hitting 200 yards at Top Golf because I'm an actual golfer, Jimbo. I go to a golf course. I got a membership at the Palmetto Golf Course. Uh, thank you very much. And I actually go to a driving range. Okay, not that top top fucking golf bullshit where they give you oh aim you know, aim it here, aim it there. There's a there's like a no. No, there's the top dogs are actually right. really fun actually. They get some food out of it, some drinks. Bro, they got these they got that big ass burger that they sell out there. They actually have good food there. They got really good they food out there. Good they got food. really good food out there. Oh really? That's cool. You see what you started, Jimbo? There you go. What is your GIR? I don't know what that is. You got me. <laughs> What's your putt percentage? I, I don't I don't putt, dog. It's strictly driving range, baby. Yeah. No, listen. I'm telling happy you, I'm Gilmore. not. A, I'm not an actual. Yeah, I'm happy Gilmore status right now. You know, fighting Bob Barker. I've done it before, and I bust my ass. I don't suggest uh, <laughs> attempting a happy Gilmore. No, Jimbo, you're absolutely right. I don't. Does that make you feel any better that you called me out on my bullshit, huh? You jerk. Oh, the old uh, cock. Down on the farm right there. My man Jimbo. Now listen, dude. Like, like I said, I, I all I do <laughs> all I do is the driving range. I can definitely hit the ball 200 yards with a five iron. That is no bullshit. But like actually play a game of golf, I'll be out there forever. I just like the drive. The driving range is fun. 
AMG back for Pettit. But I, I can't imagine playing like an actual, like a literal game of golf. I played only one game my whole life. And how long were you out there? I think I, after like, after maybe the third, after about 20 minutes in, I didn't get off the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that shit is, the cart the whole time. that shit is hard, bro. Yeah, that tough, shit is bro. hard. It's hard, man. And I went with some good people. Oh, I bet. So it was like, and it was in California. It was really nice. Actually. Nice. It was dope. Yeah, but man, that's a skip. Yeah, dude, that's just difficult. Yeah, those guys, those, those basketball players. That's all they do. Yeah, they got all, all that players. time to themselves. Yeah. Oh, money is super Gregorious uh, is super relic. Yeah, was, you guys break uh, golfers or what? They have that? They have, uh, they, they used to PGA be this. Tour and stuff, like that. stuff like that, yeah. They have, um, the Leaf makes this product where it's a combination of all types of the sports. Leaf. That's what you were telling me about the Leaf. Yeah, it was, uh, I forgot what the name of the product. It was Leaf something. See, uh, There's bro, ty- see Upper this, Deck makes golf this, shit. I, I see some good stuff in here, man. Oh, all we got is good stuff, oh, baby. Some really good stuff. <laughs> it's stuff. Later, Val. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Hit that like button on your way out. How many likes we got popping? Oh, probably like twenty something. Nice. We got the uh, Chrome Hot Box. All these little chromies for the homies. A little mini for Edmund there. What would you like to crack next? I like certi- like that certified shit. I really like that shit. Oh, right here, the certified? They, uh, every box has one rookie patch auto in it. Oh, nice. And the patches are really nice in there, too. What about the optics are nice? Thank nice. you, Jimbo. Oh, dude, containers optic basketballs? Whew. Come on, guys, get one of those for Eight, me. $800 a box. What if we hit, what if we hit a Zion out of that right there? What do we have here? Is it an autograph? It is See? Nico Horner with the rookie mini autograph for the Cubs. I've been told I'm lucky. Man, dude, you're, you're on fire right now. My boy wanted to see some autographs. Hit three already. <laughs> that burrow's sick as hell. Yeah, the burrow's nice, man. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I think that might have been like his first autograph. Really? Well, probably not because of the pandemic. This product should have came out months ago. What if I hit a hero? Impossible. He doesn't have cards in this. That'd be pretty awesome if I did, though. I do have a Tyler Hero autograph. I do have that. That's it. Did they win or is it? Oh, yeah. Lakers won. That's right. They're up 3-1 now. 3-1. It was a close game, apparently. Six-point game there at the end. It's going to be a great final. Lakers versus... Uh, Lakers Heat. Little Pat Ryan. Bro, if the Heat win... Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine, yeah, dog? There's not going to be no mask in Miami. Could you imagine the shit Kobe. show, though, for LeBron? Holy shit. LeBron going up against the old Heat team. LeBron should have never left. I'm sorry. I know. We would have had that dynasty down here, bro. Have, Le- have D-Wade come off the bench. Chris Brosh would have never had that blood clot issue. Balling. But whatever. They were a top trio of all time. <sighs> Better than Rodman, point. Pippen, and, and MJ, so though? Uh, I mean, you can say that. Could Rodman, could, could Rodman drop a three? No, nah, yeah, you're right about that. Damn, that's a good one. That's a good... Can he get up there and just... Bah! Drop that's, a three? That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a good one, though. <laughs> That'd be... That, I would pay to watch that for sure. Yeah, I think I would take the heat in that matchup, for real. LeBron and Pippen would probably cancel each other out. 
No, LeBron and MJ. Or LeBron, yeah, but they play. Uh, you got to go for positions, people. though. LeBron's a small forward. Pippen was a small forward. Oh, yeah, hey. Jordan's gets, a shooting D-Wade, guard. D-Wade gets destroyed by, by nah, bro, chill. So, 06 D Wade. Dropping 35 in the finals every game. Balling. Yeah, that's RIP to Kobe. We got a Yachty Molina box loader. Yachty. Nice one, Ra Ra. Nice one, nice one. Yeah, that would be a that'd be a sick, sick game. We put that's Photoshop, dog. <laughs> it's Photoshop. Oh, that's uh, that's, that's, uh, that's CGI right that's there. Good blue he got. <laughs> you know that Disney magic they got out there in Orlando. I know. You see this later, Mike. What did Jamal Murray do today, Edgar? I, I didn't watch the Lakers game at all. If it ain't the Heat, it don't matter, dog. Oh, if we play the Lakers. Well, we got to take care of business. First things first, we got to beat the Celtics. But if we play the Lakers in the finals and we win, my goodness. My goodness. Everybody gonna take their masks off, pots and pans all through Miami. Oh yeah, Biscayne. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. Biscayne, fucking lit. lit. From here all the way to the beach, traffic. All through US one, baby. Uh, when did I start using crack? Ha 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 ha, Edgar, you're funny. Hey, listen, man. First of all, the heat shouldn't even be this good this fast. Let's start there. So, I, I've said it before. I'm just happy that we're at where we're at right now. If we were to lose the next three games to the to the Celtics, I would still be happy. But with that said, you don't want to see the Heat in the finals, bruh. Mm -mm, we don't want to see Pat Riley. You, you, exactly. You don't want to see the Godfather up there. Pat, no. you, you, you don't want these problems. That's a, yep, dude, we are attracting free agents like crazy. I watch, uh, JJ Reddick has this podcast on YouTube. JJ Reddick? Yeah, and he's actually, he, he has time for it? yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's not playing ball right now. His team, uh, he plays for the Pelicans, so oh, that's right, that's right, yeah. he's got nothing but, <laughs> he's got nothing but time. And, uh, he, like, every, every, every week he has, like, an episode, and lately, He's been, like, getting players, and all people seem to talk about is the Heat. Like, he was interviewing De'Aaron Fox yesterday, and De'Aaron Fox just came out and was like, dog, the Heat got a good-ass team. And he was just talking about the Heat and the Heat culture and all that stuff. The organization is just a winning organization. Yeah, bro, that's what we're about, players. man. And then when they bring them here, they say, hey, let's, if you come to Miami, let me show you a day in the life of Miami. When they take off on a yacht to the backyards. Of you feel me? You know, Taking the Star this, Island this and all that your, shit. This could be your yacht. This could be your spot. Straight up. This could be your city. It's the best, bro. It's a, like, honestly, aside from L.A., I don't really see another place like where being an NBA player. As, as an NBA player, I couldn't see another city that I would want to play in. Yeah, and L.A.'s huge. That's another L.A.'s thing. huge. Yeah, so is fucking... And there's, there's money. There's like the luxury tax. There's no luxury tax in the state of Florida. So you actually get to keep more of your more of your money. That's another thing that you know people don't take into equation. Hey, we just got that. We got that winning culture, and it's Miami, dog. Like fuck out of here. It's the gun stick. Who who wants to play in Milwaukee? <laughs> Ohio. Well, if there's anybody out there from Milwaukee, I'm sorry. Or Ohio. Yeah, who wants to play in Cleveland? Who wants to play there? Who wants to go outside and, and go like, hang out? Like, if I get drafted by them, like, like, okay, cool, awesome. I'm a ball out, free agent. I'm going to the 305. Yeah, for sure. Oklahoma, uh, no thank you. Knicks, you know, New York ain't what it used to be. I know, but who plays there? It'd be a bit. I've never been to New York, so. The thing with the Heat is, though, you know, it's a, it's a winning culture. Exactly. It's, 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 it's it's a winning culture and it's Miami. Like Welcome to Miami. Who wouldn't want to come down here where all the thoughts are at? 
We got all the thotties. All, all the thotties. I don't think I don't I don't think Luca would leave Dallas though. Oh, rip card mojo. Paul Goldschmidt, five of ninety nine rip card for the Cardinals. Nice. So more and more players are gonna want to play in Miami. That's what I'm telling y'all. Giannis is not going to sign that contract that they're going to offer him. He's going to be a free agent 2021. And he's coming down south. Coming down south, baby. AMG back for Mr. Robinson of the Orioles. Oh, under the bed where the monsters live. Yeah, my monster lives under the bed too. And in these boxes, apparently. Angie back. <laughs> That's why you got the mask on. Yeah, right. Oh, old McDonald, the farmer card. Nice. You see? Looking after his crops. Wow, next one. KFC. What do we have here? Rizzuto, Manny. A good bench player, Giannis. No, nah, I don't know about. I don't know about all. I don't know about all that. Giannis, but, yeah, he's not gonna stay with the Bucks that long. Oh, yeah. dude, he's oh, he's out of there. He's coming to Miami, dude. I see it. Mm -hmm. I see it. And Bede wants to come to Miami. He's. Oh, that's all he talks about on Twitter. Everyone wants to play for Pat. It's fucking. He just he just looks like a cool ass dude. You know he has a rule that you can't pick up to your opponents off the floor? Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> so OG. I believe it. I'm with it. Nice. A Kyle Lewis mini rookie black border. Pull one earlier, right? But not a mini. No, nah, not a mini. These are pretty rare. And sometimes they'll like hand number sign it on the back. So that's why I always check the back. Those are super, super rare. Blammo. Who's that going for? That goes to the Mariners. He's probably like their, he's their top rookie right now. My favorite card in the whole set, the dog insert. I love this card. All right, what else we got? I want to be getting my dog in a couple weeks. Really? Yeah, you got a little, little pit bull bulldog mix. Nice. And I'm going to be bringing him in here every day too. I'm gonna get like a little candle, put it right there in the corner. Don't 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 worry about my life. You got a dog now? Well, yeah, I probably am allergic to dogs, but. Oh, get ready for that, then. I'm allergic to dogs, and I've got a dog. Oh, see, there you go. I mean, I'm not allergic to dogs. My last dog was hyperallergenic for that reason. Nice. What'd you have? Like one of those Mexican hairless dogs? No, I had a poodle. Oh yeah, those Standard. are hyperallergenic. Big old. Like standard poodle. Nice. Thought was meant to run. And be free. Yeah. So you got rid of him or something? Yeah, I gave him to a friend that had the farm. Ooh. Yeah, I had a little Labrador. I did the same thing. Had to give him up. Kids, I was living in a homestead in Naranja. Oof. Driving. I was working on West Nap time for World Finger. Nice. Royal Caribbean, never been on those cruises. No, uh -huh. celebrity. I've been on uh, Carnival. Carnival. That's the only one. <laughs> yeah, the ghetto ass cruise. I sold Celebrity, which is like the upscale. Nice. Yeah. yeah, my cruising days are over. That shit's cool the first two times. Oh, forget it. Cruising industry is gone completely. Yeah, they they can't even billion. they can't even give away tickets right now. We have some good hits here. You got some really nice hits for sure. We ain't done yet, though. We got that uh, last box right there. This one, guys. I got a good feeling about this one. Let's see what the box story is here. I need something else out. 
PC says he'd rather swallow a cactus than go on a cruise. So. What if they paid you for it? Hey, dude, I, you can pay me to go on a cruise. <laughs> I'm down. What about a free cruise? About a free cruise? I go on a free cruise. It's yeah, free. Yeah, me Shit. too. from Miami is different. <laughs> it's free, baby. <laughs> I want to go on one of those booze cruises where, like, you're just out there in the water for a day. Hello? Yeah, those are pretty rare. Okay. See? So let's see what we can get out of that. We got a card that slips you right there. Yeah, this is booty, though. That ain't shit. Oh, it's caca. Caca. All right, let's see what's in this yeah. M43. We got a Tatis Jr. Box loader, but it's not autographed, unfortunately. Still pretty cool. Oh, yeah, my cruising days are over, dog. I'm chill. I'm straight on that. Yeah, me too. You know, I don't really like to. My last cruise was from uh, the fast boat to Bimmy. What it's line? Like what cruise line was it? It's like a two hour thing. Oh, that's it? And then you stay in Bimmy. Oh, so you it's just like stay little, there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually they have a really nice hotel. Yeah, I think that the the fast the fast thing. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right? The Hilton. And then you go to the Hilton or whatever. Yeah, I've only or ever done. I don't know what it is. One of those two. I've only done Carnival, and they take you like to a different yeah, island every day. This one's like one twenty-five a person. For how long? Hotel, you get for two days. Oh, that's not bad at all. And you get the fast. It's like a little cruise that takes you there. And then you get the hotel for like two days. Beautiful hotel. Oh, okay. It's okay. Got gotcha. you. Island, you can walk. You ever been like on a cruise where like you're just there for like a week? Yeah. yeah. Those hotel. ships, it drive me insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're on the newer ships, the crazy ones, the ones that have like robots that serve drinks and stuff. Yeah, like that, I heard about them. It'll take, you, it'll take you days just to do everything. No, on a carnival cruise line, no, bro, you do everything in an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're used to going on the cruise line, so you don't want yeah, to. be on them booty ass we'll cruise lines. The ones that, a whole week, and you're, you're like, man, I didn't know this was here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going on those, but. That shit's probably expensive. No, right now, it's not worth it. You can't close it. Everybody exactly. I'd rather go to Amsterdam, hit that red light district. I'd rather go to Orlando. Psych. Yeah, I'm just that too. It's truly. Yeah, there's, I think it's across the street. They just opened up a cookies one here. Yo, that's right. And fucking, um, isn't that shit like in Hialeah or something? Like on A Street? I, I saw an ad of, yeah, Collins. Collins that's Collins, right. Bro. I saw that sh I saw an ad of that shit the other day. I was like, damn, that shit's from Cali. Cookies. And they opened one up here. But like, how? It's illegal. It's politics, man. Well, how do you do this Well, medicinal is legal. Well, they probably do medicinal. They're probably doing medicinal. Interesting. They opened up a... Uh, yeah, that cookies is going to be booming, oh, dog. Cookies. cookies. No, I know. I have my heart. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this one's cookies. Uh, but... I don't know how they opened it up. But I was kind of shocked to find that out. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I my, saw... This is my good brand down here, 305. That's a double logo. 305, yeah, nice. Yeah, as well, you go and check them on this one. Rolling papers and... Nice. Like and stuff. Hell yeah, I need little, to, little, little, need to stop by. Yeah. Gotta support the locals, man. Yeah. 305, baby. 305. That's a dope logo. That's just cool as fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting into the into the green game. But until they decriminalize it and no, all that no, shit, it's that, no, no. it's a little shit show. Everything we do here is deep. That's Florida, man. That's what we do. Cocaine Cowboys. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can... Ah, Pepe, a baseball pioneer. I think this was the first uh, first lady to play uh, in a Little League World Series game. Something like that. There you go. I'm on the last box, uh, freak. Done. That'd be awesome. Get some fool's ball done. What time is it? Dang, it's almost midnight. Is it? Apparently. It's 11.50. Dwight Gooden, Manny. We got an ANG back for Glay Bear.
Hey, Freak, Cookies is in your neck of the woods. Have you been there yet? Is it, like, even open up for business? Well, hi, where is it at? Hialeah? I think it's up there, yeah. Isn't it, like, on it's South Beach like or some shit? Great. If it's in Hialeah, it's going to do well. <laughs> Kyle Lewis, rookie. I mean, if you think about it, you can stop at any place in my beer. That, that gets you so faded you can't drive home. Oh, man, I've been there. K-Line AMG. That guy's talking about champs, look. Yeah, I'm telling you, dog. Got to support the home team. Got a good little setup here. Yeah, it's chilling. It's just sufficient, you know. Mm -hmm. We're glorious with the AMG bag. This thing's clutch right here. What, this bad boy? Oh, right. Hell Super yeah. Clutch, right? Cave, and a little mini there. Can we get at least one more autograph? Come on, Carrasco Indian relic for the. Uh, well, I already said it. The Indians. Kershaw, mini. Well, no dinosaur relics yet. I want to see that woolly mammoth relic. Or a saber tooth tiger. No. I try, I try to be organized. I see that. I'm sure they appreciate it. Yeah, the sword is appreciated too. That way they don't have to go through all this crap. They're like, what is this? Kikuchi, AMG back. We still got to sort it by team, though. Oh, for sure, yeah. They still got to do that. But, like, at least I'll separate, like, what I can, the rookies or whatever. We have Tim Anderson, Black Border, Mini White Sox. Thought I saw a frame card here. Lofton Indians, Black Border. What's in there? All right, last stack mojo. The hell was that? <laughs> the hell was that? Remember that clip? The <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. He was talking all. Oh, he was hella professional. The <laughs> fuck was that shit? <laughs> We got, mm. nice, we got, well, dude, you are good luck for reals, dog. I know. This is the most autographs I've hit out of Ginter so far this year, easily. Lucky we're not pulling one of these other boxes. Shit, we, 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 might, we bout to. Might shat your pants. We got Mr. Jordan Alvarez, rookie mini Astros. Very nice. Really good autos in this break. I know, I know I've been eating a lot of shit. But it was all for but it was it was it was it was all for this. Exactly. Not bad at all. Let's see that review. Alright, so let's see here. Damn, for reals. That's a lot of autos. Alright, so dude, autographs are really tough to come by in this set. We got a mini black border Kyle Lewis. Pretty cool. A chrome Lewis Robert, that's cool. Jordan Alvarez mini auto. Nico Horno. A uh, Horner Cubs mini auto. Joe Burrow. Burrow. That's pretty sick. A uh, Juan Soto and a rib card. <coughs> I had to cough because it's so sick. For Mr. Paul Goldschmidt. There could be anything inside here. You literally have to rip it. So, like, you see the perforation oh, there? So dope. Like, you literally rip it. That's so cool. <coughs> and it'll have a mini card. In it. And it'll be either. A red mini card where it's all red, mm -hmm. or it'll be like a like a mini yeah. wood parallel where it's made of wood. The Burrow's doing well too right now. Oh, Burrow. dude, Burrow's fucking nuts right now. And that's gonna do it for the break, my friends. Thank you, everybody. I'll get it out to you.